Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create a gear in PowerPoint using the 2010 or 2013 version of PowerPoint. The gear you will learn to create looks like this. Now, this gear is part of this overall template and if you compare the way these gears look with any of the smart art graphics like this like this is actually a smart art graphic when you click here you will be able to understand that this is a smart art graphic now when you compare the look and feel of these gears that you would create using auto shapes from what you're going to learn in this as part of this tutorial and when you compare that with the smart art graphic you can see that these gears look far more professional and they are very surprisingly easy to create let us see how to create these gears from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing we are going to do is to go to basic shapes and pick up this tool called as oval tool. While holding the shift button, you draw a circle. This is the first step. The next step is to go once again to auto shapes menu and under stars and banners, you can pick up one of these uh, stars. Maybe I'm going to pick up, say this one called a 16 point star. Now, when I do that, I can get this star here. And you have the option to pull using this particular yellow handle. When you pull towards the center, you can see that the spikes get a little more sharp. Now, now we are uh, ready with this particular star shape if you want you can make the size a little bigger and then make sure that you have the star and the circle aligned properly for which you go to arrange align align middle and arrange align align center now we can be sure that the circle and the star are perfectly aligned the next step is to select both of them and go to format under merge shapes you find the option called as intersect so this is called as intersect shapes click on it and you get this particular shape now this doesn't look like a gear by any stretch of imagination so what we're gonna do is to add another circle so we go once again to basic shapes go to oval and while holding the shift we are going to draw a circle. Now this time we are going to have the size of the circle slightly lesser than the new shape we have created. And this is the way the circle is going to be positioned. Now we can select both of them. Once again make sure that they are aligned properly. So align middle, arrange, align, align center. And once it is done select both the shapes and go to format merge shapes and union and there it is our gear is ready now you can add a circle here and put a hole so I'm going to choose this one and keep it right on this and once again I'm going to make sure that it is uh, kept properly in the middle so I'm going to use arrange align middle arrange center if you don't want to do that over and over again, you can always create these uh, shortcuts on your using quick access toolbar. You will be able to find another video tutorial that tells you how to create a quick access toolbar. You can always learn from that. Now that we have these two shapes available, now I'm going to go to, now I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to use the option called as subtract shapes. Now as I press this, you can see that there is a hole in the middle and this is the gear you can color it the way you want maybe this is a good color and you can actually have it give it a 3d shape if you want so go to effect options 3d rotation and make it slightly slanted using perspective shape and um, maybe you can give it a nice bevel and depth say 15 now you have a 3d uh, gear available you can make it look shining by going to material and altering the material you can do a number of things using uh, the gear that you have just created 
I wish to show you some applications of gear shape in PowerPoint. And the example templates are going are taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs volume one and two. Let me show you the first example. This is an animated uh, template as you can see here. All three gears are uh, rotating in unison. You have the first gear representing the first process, second, second process, third, the third process, and this shows alignment of processes. You can use gears as metaphor for relationship or processes. You can see here that the two gears are used as a metaphor for representing the concept of working a relationship. Let me show you another example. Here we have used gears as icons to represent processes and clock as, a, as an icon to represent deadline and we have a conceptual slide available. So there are many interesting ways you can use gears in business presentations. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional graphics and uh, create such professional background, you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating gears in PowerPoint 2010 or 2013 version. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos, tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.